In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how literal teenagers are bringing in millions of views posting faceless videos on YouTube. I'll even reveal a new viral niche that is currently blowing up and show you all the steps you need to create your first video. This account started posting only a few weeks ago and have already grown their channel to over 40,000 subscribers and 15 million views. I want you to walk away from this video actually knowing how to start your own faceless channel and not having to watch another video explaining the same theory for a hundredth time. Before we dive in though, I've heard a lot of people say stuff like, Everyone knows you can't even monetize AI-generated videos because of the new YouTube policies, you lying piece of shit. All the gurus love to milk views out of this topic, but it couldn't be further from the truth. You just gotta make good content people actually want to watch. Because there are people out there that are bringing in millions of views using this strategy, and if you implement the steps I'm about to share with you in this video, you'll likely see similar results. When starting an account like this, you first need to find a viral niche, which is something a lot of people are struggling with. So, I did the dirty work for you and found a viral faceless niche that's currently bringing in millions of views. This niche has been proven to go viral for months, and you've probably seen one of these videos before. It's these creepy animated stories with AI-generated visuals and a voiceover. Here's a preview if you haven't seen it before. Did you know a famous YouTuber once invaded Epstein Island just to see what was hidden inside the Epstein Temple? His first attempt was in January 2023. Okay, now that you have a viral niche, let's get into the first step of the blueprint, finding a viral topic. Finding a good topic is everything if you want your videos to go viral, and this account I showed you earlier is doing this perfectly. They're not just creating stories about random topics. All of their videos are based on trending people and stories. For example, famous rappers, Epstein Island, or that kid who stole over $200 million from a crypto exchange and burnt it all on going out in Miami. Creating videos about topics people are familiar with is key to going viral, and it's probably one of the biggest reasons this account is doing so well. However, knowing what topics that are trending can be pretty hard, especially if it's your first time running an account like this. So, to help you out, I've been working on something that will make this process 10 times easier for you. What I've done is that I've created a custom GPT model that has been trained specifically to come up with trending topics and write scripts for videos in this specific niche. I did this by spending hours feeding the GPT with data from the most successful accounts so that it's able to create topics and write scripts based on what's already been proven to go viral. If you want to access this GPT for yourself, you'll find it inside the step-by-step -step document where I've added all the prompts and tools you need to follow through the entire blueprint. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Once you've accessed the GPT model, all you gotta do is enter a prompt saying, create a topic and a script for my next video. It'll then come up with a viral topic and write a script in the exact same style as the videos that have already gone viral. As I mentioned earlier, it's important important to pick topics people are already familiar with, so I programmed it to only come up with trending topics based on real-life events. For example, in this case, it generated a topic and a script about the astronomer CEO who got caught cheating with his colleague on a Coldplay concert. And if you've been on social media lately, you know that this is probably the most viral story of the year. Speaking of going viral, I've gotten a lot of questions lately inside the community from people who got shadow banned before even getting their channel monetized, which actually happens a lot, especially to faceless channels. And there's an easy explanation as to why this is happening. Most people post their videos onto a brand new channel, which is a huge mistake. When you upload to a fresh channel, YouTube's algorithm has zero reason to trust you. You have no history, no watch time record, no engagement metrics, and the algorithm will think you're a bot, leading to your videos tanking in views right away. So, if you have an old channel that's a couple of years old you're not using, you definitely want to use that instead. But I happen to know that most people don't just sit around on old YouTube channels. And if you're one of those people, you're gonna want to hear this. So, I have this friend who's a real Einstein when it comes to YouTube that has grown multiple channels to over 100,000 subscribers. Lately, he started collecting aged YouTube channels created back in 2006 to 2009 that have a watch time record, videos posted on them, and most importantly, are trusted by the YouTube algorithm. These channels have been around for over a decade, and that alone gives them a massive edge with the algorithm, making it easier to get your videos pushed out in the beginning. I spoke with him on the phone last night and managed to convince him to give you guys a 20% discount if you enter code AI at checkout. So if you're tired of being bullied by the YouTube algorithm, this is probably a good solution. Now let's move on to the second step, creating the visuals. The first thing you need to do is create image prompts you can use to generate the visuals. To create these, all you gotta do is enter a prompt asking the GPT model to generate image prompts for each scene of the script. And as you can see, it'll create image prompts based on the content in the script. Now, to generate the image prompts, you'll need an image generator. Personally, I'll use the ChatGPT 4.0 model, but you can use whatever one that works for you. The goal here is to get the same creepy cartoon-style images as in the viral videos. 
The problem, though, is that these prompts won't get us there. After experimenting around with hundreds of different prompts, I finally managed to come up with a prompt template that got me the result I was looking for. And the good thing is that this prompt template can be used to create any image you want in this style. Here's what you want to do next. Start a new chat in ChatGPT and paste in the prompt template, which you'll find inside the step-by-step -step document. As you can see in the beginning, I've left a bracket that says, insert your scene or subject here. In this bracket, you want to paste in the scene descriptions the GPT model gave us. To generate the image for scene one, all you gotta do is copy the prompt for that scene, paste it into this bracket, hit generate, and ChatGPT will create an image with the creepy cartoon style we're looking for. Continue repeating this process until you've generated all of the prompts and have an image for each scene. No one will watch your video though if you're only using still images, so we need to bring some life to them by adding animations. All the viral videos in this niche have added movements to their images so that it almost looks like a video. And after doing some research, I managed to find the secret behind how they do it. To do this, you need some kind of image to video generator. I've tried out almost all of them, and personally, I think Leonardo gives the best results. Once you've signed up for an account, you want to click on this button that says video. First, upload the image for scene one and paste in the prompt you used to create that image. Before generating it though, you need to have the right settings in place. Set the model to motion 2.0 since I found that to be the one that gives the best results. Next, go down to motion control to add some camera movement. For this one, I'll go with dolly in, but I'd recommend you switch around between them to keep the viewer engaged throughout the entire video. Set generation mode to 720 and video dimensions to 916 to get the TikTok format. Finally hit generate and Leonardo will animate the image into a smooth looking video. Now continue repeating this process until you've animated all of the images and we can move on to the third step. Bring our script to life with a voiceover. If you have a sexy Morgan Freeman voice, just grab a microphone, hit record, and read through your script. But for those of us who don't have that, you're probably more interested in the second option, using AI. If you ask me, Eleven Labs is by far the best text-to-speech tool out there, and it's actually the one I use to create the voice you're listening to right now. Now all you need to do is choose a voice that matches the vibe of your video, or as I like to do, design a custom one using their voice cloning feature. Once you've found a voice, you want to paste in your script and make whatever changes you want to it. If you really want to take it to the next level, you can add commas, capital letters, and exclamation marks to get different tones and add emotions. Did you know two high-level executives were caught cheating live on a kiss cam at a Coldplay concert? It happened July 16, 2000. I edit all of my videos in Premiere Pro, except for this one. All of the viral videos in this niche are using this shake effect that makes it look like the screen is glitching, and the only editing software I've found that has this feature is CapCut, so I'd recommend you use that too. Start off by importing the voice you generated in Eleven Labs, drag it to the timeline, and cut out all of the silent moments. Now slightly overlap the clips to get a faster pace. Just make sure you listen it through so that it sounds natural, and repeat the same process on the entire voiceover. AI-generated voices usually have these weirdly long pauses that make it sound kind of robotic, so doing this makes a huge difference. Next, import the visuals and start placing them out throughout the video in chronological order. You might have to adjust the length of some of the clips so that it matches the voiceover. I've studied the best performing videos in this niche and none of them keep the same visual on the screen for longer than three seconds, and you shouldn't either. Having a good variation of clips will give the video a higher pace and increase retention. Once you've covered the entire voiceover with visuals, we can move on to the reason you need to use CapCut for this video. To add extra movement and engage the viewer, all the most successful accounts in this niche are using this effect. Go to the Effects tab in the top left corner and search for the one called Shake. Drag it to the timeline and extend it so that it covers the entire video. Set Strength to 2 and Speed to 3 and you'll get the effect you're looking for. Except for this effect, there's one more thing all of these accounts have in common, which is that they all have captions. It's not only going to increase your retention, it's also a way for you to brand your account and stand out from the competition. Click on the Captions button, choose your language, and hit Generate. CapCut will then automatically transcribe the video and add a caption track. Read through the entire thing to make sure the wording is right and that there's no spelling mistakes. You can add some style to them either by adding one of their pre-made templates or if you're feeling fancy, design it yourself. My rule of thumb is to never have more than two words on the screen at once when creating short form content. So I went with a quicker template only showing one word at a time, which will give the video a higher pace. Now the final touch is to add some music. 
and if you've seen these videos before, you know that they're all using the same creepy song you hear in every horror movie out there. Did you know a famous YouTuber once invaded Epstein Island just to see what was hidden inside the Epstein Temple? His first attempt was in January. If you want quick access to it, I've actually added it to my free asset pack. In there, you'll also find all the most viral sound effects out there, over a thousand viral clips, and a bunch of other stuff that will help you make the editing on your videos ten times better. You'll find it inside the step-by-step -step document if you want it for yourself. Once you've picked up the song, simply upload it to CapCut and drag it to the timeline underneath the voiceover and the visuals. Just make sure the volume is not too loud, since that can literally ruin the entire video. You can adjust it here in the top right corner, and I'd recommend you set it to around minus 20 to get the best result. And that's pretty much all the editing that goes into it, and we can export the final video. To do this, click on Export, set resolution to 1080, and frame rate to 60. If you're on the CapCut Pro plan, turn on Optimal Flow to get the best quality possible, and we're ready to hit export. Did you know two high-level executives were caught cheating live on a kiss cam at a Coldplay concert? It happened July 16, 2000. Now post the video onto your YouTube channel and stick to a consistent posting schedule. The chances of you going viral on your first post is very slim, so you need to give the algorithm some time to pick up your videos. Only because your first video doesn't go viral, it doesn't mean it's a bad video. The algorithm just needs some time to find your audience and learn who to show your videos to. Even Mr. Beast, who's one of the best or if not the best content creator in the world, says the same thing. Your first video is not going to give views, period. It's not. Your first 10 are not going to give views. I can very confidently say that. All you need to do, this applies to people who have dreams of being a YouTuber, is make 100 videos and improve something every time. Do that. The difference though between you and the average person is that you already have a winning formula used by some of the most successful faceless accounts on the platform, so it will likely take less than a hundred videos for you. There's so many things that go into running a faceless account that I can't fit into these videos. The video creation is only a fraction of what it takes to run a business like this, and there's a lot of back-end stuff that goes into it. So, for those of you who want to know more about that, I actually have a free community where I teach this stuff. In there, you can chat with me one-on-one -on -one and get access to a bunch of assets that will help you improve your videos. We're currently over 2,000 members in there discussing and learning from each other every day. As you probably know, AI is growing by the day and is currently at an all-time high in popularity, so learning more about it can be life-changing knowledge. So click the link in the description and join right now.